Chris the Carpenter here, RocketBrandStudios.com. I want to show you a new thing I'm carrying that I'm really, really in love with, and I think it's super fun. Um, looks like a washer, right? It's uh, about three quarters of an inch in diameter. Uh, the center hole is a little less than three eighths, um, which probably makes it I don't know twenty something millimeters by a ten millimeter hole. Um, these are my new encoders that I'm carrying. That's not a washer. It's actually an eight segment magnetic disc. And the kit comes with uh, Hall effect sensors. And these are awesome. These have like electronics in it. It's not just a sensor. So uh, you got a three pin standard servo connector, uh, 3.3 volt and 5 volt tolerant, just kind of whatever you want to give it. And um, when I say there's guts in here, what I'm saying is the output from here is a true high and a zero low. It's not like an optical sensor where it's a it's a whoop de whoop de wavy wishy washy signal. This is a high high and a low low click 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 period. Uh, also, this sensor is incredibly tolerant in terms of how far it is away from the um, the disc. Uh, three millimeters, four millimeters, maybe five. You can you can have it pretty far away and it still works. It's it's really awesome. Um, these discs, these little magnet guys, come with a little rubber dealy where you can get a screw through the center um, or you can cut it to fit your shaft or you can slide it over or you can do whatever you want to mount it. You can also very easily, well, not too easily, but you can, you can peel the, the rubber backing off and leave just the disc and use these, if you can see it in the light, these uh, sticky discs. And these sticky disks and the encoders actually happen to fit the tadpole robots perfectly. It actually fits the uh, the, the the horn on the um, on the motors. That's what the sticky disks are for. They stick right on. And um, you can see here, I've got uh, just really really simple handy dandy hold downs um, for the Hall effect sensors. They clamp they clamp right in. Now. You may be asking yourself, and a lot of people do, how in the world, because this is an eight segment disc, so how in the world are you going to get accuracy out of only eight clicks per revolution? I mean, if you want a robot to draw or map or whatever, you're going to need like at, at a minimum 90 degree turns. Well, I can do better than that, and I can do it very, very accurately, and I will show you how. Well, the first thing is when I designed the tadpoles, I picked a wheel diameter and a wheelbase, the width of the wheels, that would mathematically work out to an even number of clicks on the encoder equaling an even turn. So an, a given number of clicks is a 180 or a 90, 22 and a half, 360. It's even. But you can dial it in even more. If your robot with an even number of clicks on these eight click encoders is half a turn minus a little bit or a half turn plus a little bit or it's overshooting or undershooting just a wiggle and you want to dial it in the motors the motors on the tadpoles are actually mounted in slotted holes and so it's really darn close to exactly an even turn as it sits but if it's turning a, not enough all you have to do is take your two wheels narrow them up a little bit, thus making the radius slightly smaller, turns a little bit more. If it's turning too much, you just make them slightly wider, makes the radius larger, and the robot turns less. That way you can dial in exactly an even turn, even with eight click encoders. Ding. And, uh, and I tell you what, in terms of encoders, um, these these little guys are are just the simplest things ever. These little Hall effect sensors already on a cord. You literally just plug them in, uh, set your internal pull up resistor in your Arduino, which is set your pin as an input, and then digital write high. That's it. Um, set up your two interrupts, and then your interrupt routines are basically just you have a left count and a right count. And your whole interrupt routine is left count plus plus increase. And that's it. Every time a click goes by, that interrupt routine will be executed magically in the background. You'll never know what happens other than your encoders are 
clicking away without any fuss, no muss, no nothing. And they're not too expensive either. They're great, great, great little encoders. Whether you're using them for the Tadpole or you're using them for your robot, it all comes down to get this disc on something that spins and get this sensor kind of close to it. And you got yourself encoders. So there you go. Uh, the new encoder kit from uh, rocketbrandstudios.com. I am Chris the Carpenter. Ding!